it's no secret that looking at Charleston, South Carolina, Somerville is probably one of the hottest suburbs in the low country. Everyone is talking about it. Everyone knows about it. Half of the constitution loving Californians and New Yorkers, they've heard about it. The schools are great. The sports are great. The restaurants and food, they're great. I mean, the secret is out. However, there is a negative side to Somerville. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a true depiction of what it's like living in Somerville, South Carolina. We'll talk about the video almost everyone brings up to me. The flooding video of Kane Bay in Somerville like nine years ago. Will it happen again? What happens when the next big storm rolls up the coast? I'm getting after all this information and so much more right now. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Ryan McHugh with the Buy From Rye team, the Living in Charleston channel and the Living in Somerville channel. Channels dedicated to everything about living in or moving to Charleston or Somerville, South Carolina. If you want to know more about eating, working, living, shopping, and socializing in Charleston and Somerville, then I highly recommend subscribing to my channels and clicking the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, will you get notified. I love helping people get to know Charleston and everything it has to offer. If you have questions about moving or relocating here, give me a call, text, or email. Just reach out. I'm getting calls and texts and emails every single day from tons of people looking to relocate here and I absolutely love it. Okay, so Somerville, South Carolina was on our list when considering leaving New York and coming south. Everyone told us Mount Pleasant at first, but I heard about the possibility of mandatory evacuations in the tropical season. Now here's what's going to happen. Everyone in the comment section is going to say, John's Island, West Ashley, Park Circle, Mount Pleasant is the best. Whatever you think is the best is fine. For my family and myself, it just made more sense for us to live in Somerville. Keep in mind, that was seven years ago, and a lot has changed here, and it's going to continue to evolve into a massive super community. So what I'm gonna do is break it down. I'm gonna go over the truthful information about Somerville, South Carolina, and even debunk some of the myths in certain neighborhoods. A lot has changed from the last time I shot one of these videos, so I'm going to give you a God's honest review of living here in Somerville and what those cons look like coming up. But right now, let's jump into the pros. The major pro of living in Somerville, South Carolina is its location. But that's also one of the cons as well, and I'll explain why later. Somerville is located just 30 minutes outside of downtown Charleston, and is also only a short 15 minute drive to Ridgeville. Now, most of the large companies like Volvo, Amazon, Walmart, and so many more are expanding their operations in the Charleston Ridgeville area. Volvo just announced that they will be building all their electric line of Polestar vehicles they will be completely built here in South Carolina. Over a thousand jobs will be hired for this alone. When you read people's stories online in, the, in these Facebook groups, they're saying things like Somerville is just too far out, not close enough to the beach. Most of that isn't considering the advantages to where Somerville is located. Somerville actually used to just be rural farms and tall pine farms. So if you like to hunt, fish, or if you're like me and you just like to take a cruise, Somerville has all of that in just a short drive. Areas like Holly Hill, Ellery, Cross, Bono, and Ridgeville, all those areas offer a plethora of hunting and fishing opportunities. Now, the best part is you are close to the other major cities outside of Charleston. It's only a one hour and 54 minute drive to Savannah, which is a stunning day trip, let me say. Less than two hours from Hilton Head Island, two hours, 30 minutes to Myrtle Beach. You're only one hour, 37 minutes to Columbia, South Carolina in less than three hours to Charlotte, North Carolina. The other best part is you're only a six hour and three minute drive to Florida's Disney parks or Universal Studios. It's just a convenient place to live in such a short drive too. So many places in and around the South Carolinas. The next pro, which is a pretty big one, is the schools. And I know I'm not supposed to talk about ratings or steer anyone to any specific school, but it's 2022. You have Google. Go on there and research the schools in Somerville. Somerville rates pretty good according to niche.com. And again, this is just from me Googling it. This isn't anything you can't find yourself right now. Now here's what I hear a lot of. Hey Ryan, so we wanna be in this neighborhood because we read that it's 
only school with a 9 and 10, and all the other schools are a 7. I'm here to tell you, these rating systems, they're not accurate. In fact, they're probably as accurate as the 2020 election results. I said it. Yep, I said it. Yep, our daughter goes to a school that's rated a 6 out of 10. And this school dwarfs anything she would have had back in Western New York. She loves her school, her teachers, and we love the experience from a parent's point of view. So when it comes down to personal experience, that's why it's so important for you to do your due diligence. You gotta visit these schools, tour them, talk to the administration. These ratings can be factored on many things like economy of that area or an older community where people are living off retirement. That might actually hurt the school ranking, but it doesn't make sense as to why it would. So don't pigeonhole yourself into looking into an area because of just the ratings. It's one of the biggest questions I help answer and people will always tell me, Mount Pleasant is the best, West Ashley, DD2, or Wando is the best. There are some pretty great options, everyone. You might be thinking, well, Ryan, what the hell is the cons? I'm getting into those soon, so don't you worry. Cons are coming. Now, some of you may be sitting there and saying, Ryan, sports is a big thing for school. I would, I, I, you know, I, we gotta have sports. We gotta have the best sports team for the school. So if sports is a big thing for you and your family, you really, I would highly recommend researching the programs at each school offers. For instance, I know Cane Bay High School has a vast sports program. Their high school football field reminds me of Friday Night Lights movie. I mean, it's, it's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. High school sports is a huge thing here. So I definitely recommend doing your due diligence and looking into the school's sports programs. For things to do, this is another big pro. So most neighborhoods in Somerville have some sort of amenity center with a pool. Then you have all the Charleston County parks, which offer trails, water parks, splash pads, play sets galore. You also can spend a couple nights out in downtown Charleston eating at any one of the amazing restaurants and having a romantic walk through the historic streets of Charleston. Another pro is that if you have kids or family living with you, the kids can go out on the streets at night and play with their friends. I mean, they can be running around at the parks. I think it's an important part of childhood that's missing in most communities right now. That's gonna be advantageous for you and location-wise in having things to do. Let's turn the tables here and start talking about some of the cons. Now, when my wife and I first came down here because we were planning on buying in Cane Bay, we came in on the I-26 and we got off at the Somerville Monks Corner exit, 199B. This swings you onto the 17, which is Main Street in Somerville. And at the time, there were no new exits, no fast ways around. Where we were looking in Cane Bay felt like we drove forever. We took the 17 to the 176, hung a left on 176 State Road to run down trailers with three broken down cars in the front yard. We saw taxidermy shops and just kind of like, where the hell are we moving to kind of thought. Finally, the neighborhood just kind of appeared. I compare it to driving into Disney. There isn't a whole lot around the area, but once you get there, it just boom, opens up. So a comment I've had people bring up to me is that it takes too long um, or it takes a long time to get to the neighborhoods or they feel too far out. It's just the way it is here and this is something I explain you can't change. These master plan communities are huge so it can take you 15 to 20 minutes just to get to the highway from your front door. Tack on another 30 minute drive to downtown, that's almost a two hour round trip. So for me, this was something of a bit of a con. Another con is the overcrowding we are seeing. Some of the schools have wait lists or even have standby in case someone doesn't send their child to that school. This can make things super frustrating for you, especially if you don't wanna send each child to a different school. My wife and I are actually experiencing that now. My wife has to take our one son to a different school than our daughter and our other son and now she's gonna be taking our daughter to a different daycare school, which is on the other side of town. This is something that can be something that you can experience as well. Activities can also be crowded or limited if your child is into sports, theater, arts, music. Get them in early. That is my tip for you. This will save you the painstaking headache of not getting into that specific program. Okay, another issue for me was how flat everything is. I am born and bred Buffalo, New York, and just south of Canada, we have some of the most beautiful trails and hiking mountains and so much more. 
The one thing that shocked me here in Somerville is how flat everything is. Literally, get on a stool and you can almost see the whole damn state. I'm not joking. I was used to going out on my family's land and going for hikes in the woods, hike the ravine, and just enjoy the outdoors. You don't really have that here. I mean, there are areas to go and go on paths and walk through the different woods and stuff, but it's all flat elevation. The one thing I will say is that Somerville has a ton of nature and outdoor activities that help you forget about the mountains, sort of. There is also a lot of water around, so your summer activities can always be on or around water. Somerville has neighborhoods that have a more mature tree feeling where neighborhoods like Nexon or Carnes Crossroads may feel more like they just kind of planted the trees here. According to floodfactor.com, it shows Somerville having a moderate risk level. There are 2,409 properties in the 29483 zip code that have a greater than 26% chance of being severely affected by flooding over the next 30 years. This represents 7% of all the properties in Somerville. People aren't talking about flooding in Somerville as much as they're talking about Mount Pleasant, James Island, Isle of Palms, and so forth. Now let's talk about Hurricane Joaquin. Not to be confused with Joaquin Phoenix from The Joker, Hurricane Joaquin dropped an ungodly amount of water on the Somerville area in 2015, where streets and waterways became flooded and it became and the water got actually close to flooding some homes. This video was released in 2015 before Cane Bay developers installed the lake drainage system all throughout Cane Bay. And you will see the waterways and ponds and creeks all leading to a big 350 acre man-made lake in the back of the neighborhood. In each waterway post 2015, the developers put these cement blocks in each waterway acting as a pump system. This allows all the water we see in the short amount of time and to be essentially flushed and pushed out to the big man-made lake in the back of the neighborhood. I actually compare it to having that safety spill lip in your bathroom sink. However, I will be happy to check out the FEMA flood rating on any property that you're interested in. However, a lot of you call me and harp on the flooding concerns. Listen, you're just gonna keep talking yourself out of it if that's all you worry about. There are better areas than others. This is why you reach out to me and my team. We can really help you understand where you're looking so you have set expectations. Last but not least, maybe the biggest con is everyone knows about Somerville and everyone wants into Somerville. We are seeing a crazy amount of inbound migration and one of the most competitive markets in the area's history. 77 people a day are moving to our Tri-County. Finding a rental, a house to buy in this market almost seems impossible. But my team, the Buy From Rye team, we're crushing it and getting people into homes even in this competitive market. You have to be as competitive as well and you have to get your ducks in a row. One of the biggest cons of Somerville, South Carolina is the competition we're seeing right now and in this last year. You need to have a plan in place and this is why people are using my team. We are the number one relocation experts in Charleston's Tri-County area. It's why we have helped over hundreds of families in the last couple of years relocate here successfully. As people are here and buying houses locally, the listing agent might see your offer as an out-of-town offer and may think, this buyer hasn't seen the home in person. What if they pull out? What if they don't like the home? I have all these great local offers right here and I don't need that one. <laughs> Forget about it. Doesn't happen with us. We come in, we communicate something a lot of agents and a lot of people don't know how to do correctly. I communicate that you are indeed a serious buyer and that I have you ready to go with a local lender. Not this Loan Depot or QuickenLoans.com pre-approval. We will get you that home. It's what I do and what my team is good at doing. It's why so many people are reaching out to us every single day. You can reach out too. Let me and my team help you. And the only way we can do that is if you reach out. Days, nights, weekends, it doesn't matter. Just give us a call, 843-226-5535. If you wanna see available properties now, go to www.buyfromrye.com. My team and I have your back when it comes to moving to Somerville or Charleston, South Carolina. Until next time, I'll see you soon.